You focus on the breath. You want to stay right here. I mean, it's easy to be with a breath for a little bit, but the staying is the hard part. But it's the important part as well. Otherwise, we jump around. And so all, the, all we know are the places where we land, and then we take off from there and jump someplace else. It's like trying to know the world by flying around, but you just land in an airport and then you take off and go to the next airport and the next airport, and as far as you know, the world is made of airports. So you want to see what's between the airports on the ground, you've got to get down and walk. Walk from this place to that place, you're going to walk from here to the end of the meditation session, you're not going to fly around. And that way you get to see what's actually going on with the breath and what's going on with the mind. Because when you're jumping off, you're jumping over a lot of different things that are happening in the mind. And usually by the time you've landed, you've forgotten where you jumped from. You're in the new airport. And then you get to the next airport, and you've forgotten about the second airport, and you're in the third one now. You know even less and less and less. You think you're knowing a lot because you're going all over the place, but it's all very limited knowledge, and it gets to lost very easily. But if you remember, you're going to go from here to there, and you're not going to leave the breath in the meantime. You see a lot of things in your own mind. That's when you understand that the Buddha's right. There are bright qualities and there are dark qualities in the mind. But you don't have to go with the dark qualities right now. You stay with the bright ones, which are mindfulness, alertness, concentration. This is where you keep your focus. And as for the way the dark qualities arise and pass away, okay, you'll see that, but you don't go into that. It doesn't become another, another airport for you. So stay walking right here, right here, right here. And even though walking is the oldest way of transportation, still it's the, it's the most thorough if you want to see things clearly. So you walk from this breath to the next breath, and as you take a step, you remember where you were, you remember where you're going. And that's how the meditation leads to insight. You understand things as, as they're happening. You see them happening, and you see what's a cause and what's an effect. You see the connections. That's the kind of knowledge that can really make a difference.